So I've made several clearance videos before where I talk through my thought process and how I'm striking the ball and what sort of spin I'm using and how, how I'm getting position on the table. But I tend to make those videos um, in real time. So sometimes it's a little bit rushed in my description of each shot. So what I want to try and do here is I'm going to pause between each shot and really go into detail about how I'm getting position on the next shot, the spin I'm using and how I'm striking the cue ball. There's a couple of things to point out that will aid my description. Um, we've got the cue ball up in the top left hand corner here with the red dot which shows you exactly where I'm striking the cue ball as I look at it. Um, then we've got the black line which is the tangent line. Now for those who haven't watched my other videos on where the cue ball is going, the tangent line is basically if the cue ball hits the object ball and has no spin on it at the point it hits that ball, the tangent line is the direction that the cue ball will travel in. So it will travel at a line perpendicular to the ball as it hits it, and that's called the tangent line. So that will be shown up in black. Then I'm gonna have a white line, which will be the cue ball path after I've applied any spin to it. So where the cue ball is actually gonna go. And I'll manipulate that line as I discuss things and show you how different spins can make that line change into different positions. So as always, after the break, if I'm going for a clearance, then I need to look at the balls and decide which color are gonna give me the best chance of making that clearance. So I'm looking for problem balls. Um, so for example, the yellows have got this ball over here on the left, which is a little bit close to the cushion, which might be a bit tricky. The red balls, fairly well spread. We've got this one red at the bottom of these three here that doesn't go to the left middle, doesn't go to the bottom left corner but would go back across to the other middle. So that might need a little bit of thought. Um, then we're looking at the first shot as well. Um, there's probably an easier shot on the first red up the top here. So in this case, I'm gonna choose to go reds. So on this first shot, we're fairly close. So if we hit just a fraction below the center, then it would give us a stun shot and the tangent line would bring us into the cushion here. That would mean that our cue ball travels along the tangent line and then down towards the yellow. Now to get the stun just right, the shot would need to be hit at a medium pace so the ball would still be traveling when it reaches the yellow. Now if we hit the yellow full on, then that's fine and it stops where we want it to. However, there's lots of room for error here and we could easily hit the yellow towards either side and that would take the cue ball away from where we want it to be. We could also nestle right up against the yellow and that might make it difficult to cue on the next shot. So I'd prefer to play this shot a little softer so that we stop short of the yellow. Hitting softer means that we need to hit a little lower on the cue ball so that we still achieve the stun. And then finally, just to make sure that we come away from the yellow a little, I'm just using a tiny bit of right hand side just to widen the angle of fraction. So now on this shot, we're potting the red to the top right hand corner, and we then need to be thinking about coming down towards the other end of the table to the rest of the reds that are in the bottom half of the table. Now in an ideal world, it'd be nice to get sort of in the center of the table here, where it gives us lots of options. But then we've got to get between this red and yellow here in the middle. So with the red at the bottom being fairly easy to the bottom corner, I'm really just gonna try make sure I leave myself a shot on that. So I can be heading towards this gap, but as long as I'm coming in that direction, it doesn't matter whether I get that far or not. If we look at the tangent line for this shot, then it takes us up into this top cushion and then probably down towards this yellow here, which is not great. You don't want to be striking another ball on the way because it makes it unpredictable where the cue ball's going. So we could use a little bit of screw back and that would pull us back from the tangent line and come a little bit further to the left, but then we might come down this side of the yellow and head towards the middle pocket, which is not ideal either. So what I'm gonna do here is play with screw back and left hand side. So I'm hitting the cue ball towards the bottom, but then also over to the left. That means that when the cue ball strikes this top cushion, it's gonna widen that angle and bring us over in this direction. And then as we bounce off that cushion, we're coming back down towards our red. That gives us a nice line into that shot. If we go too far, we'll have several balls in the middle. If we don't come far enough, we've still got that ball down to the bottom corner.
Now we have the ball down to the bottom right hand corner and we're looking just to get the cue ball back to the middle here so that we've got a nice choice of shots on all of these balls to the middle. Now if we look at the tangent line of this we're hitting this quite fine and we're going to be coming over this direction we might be coming a little bit wide for these balls over to this side. We might still be on this one over towards the middle but it's hard to control the pace when you're coming off a ball quite fine like that. So what I'm actually going to do here is just play a little bit of left hand side just to check the ball as it hits the cushion, straighten it up a little bit which will bring it more to this area here and because of the check side that also slows the pace of the ball a little bit. So it means we can hit it still fairly gently and that little bit of side will just slow the ball and stop it travelling too far up. What we don't want to do is go past all of these balls back past the middle of the table. Now I've hit that a little bit firmer than I intended to but what it's actually done has left us a really nice angle to do something about this problem ball here which doesn't go to this bottom corner. By taking the, the centre of those three reds there to the middle pocket, the tangent line naturally takes us straight into this red ball. And all we need to do is to just get a little nudge on that ball just to knock it a few inches over to the left here and then it will go down to this corner pocket. So it's given us a really nice opportunity to do that. If you look at the tangent line, it pretty much goes straight into that ball. So we don't really need to do too much, just need to control the pace and try and get a nice full ball contact if we can. Um, we know that the white is then not going to travel too far away from there and we're going to have this red back over to the other side of the table. So not too hard, a nice gentle little nudge across and we've got position and manipulated another ball at the same time. Now we have this fairly easy red over to the middle pocket. Um, but it's a little bit finer cut than it looks on the camera angle here. So it means that we're going to be travelling into the cushion fairly fast here. So this shot is all about controlling the pace of the cue ball. Um, the tangent line brings us to about here, which then might bounce us down a little bit low for the next red across to the middle, which means we'll be travelling up the table. So we're going to play with a little bit of top spin just to try and come a bit higher into the cushion so we come out a little bit higher and try and end as straight as we can on this red ball. And the only problem with that is by playing a bit more top spin it's going to be travelling a little bit faster again so again it's really difficult to control the pace on this shot. So I'm hitting it high on the white but softly and we come in there and have just travelled just a little bit too far and now our angle on the next ball is taking us up the table. So if we look at the tangent angle of this shot now you can see that it's actually going straight up the other end of the table um, actually coming slightly back towards the yellow this way so whilst we could play that and we could try and control the path of the white ball to get it back down somewhere towards where the red is at the moment that's difficult when you're traveling over those distances and controlling the pace could be quite tricky. So what I'm going to do here is actually change my decision on this shot. Instead of potting it to the middle, I'm going to try and pot the red up to the top left hand corner. So if we look at the tangent angle of that, that brings us perfectly over towards this yellow here, which gives us great position on this red down to the bottom corner. It's a harder pot, but in terms of position, it's far easier to get the position that we want without doing too much with the cue ball. You can see the tangent line probably comes just below this yellow ball here, so we'll probably play sort of centre cue ball just to bring us slightly above the tangent line and try and come full ball into this yellow to leave us on the red down to the bottom corner. As you can see, we clipped the yellow there instead of hitting it full ball. So we've got a lovely position on the red to the bottom corner, but we've slightly hampered ourselves in terms of potting. Now the problem we've got here is we can't cue where we want to to get the white ball into the desired position for the black. If you look at the tangent angle of the red here, 
is bringing us just below the black here, possibly even into it. Um, so we need to hit low on the white to come back from the tangent angle. The problem is we can't hit low on the white because the yellow is in the way. Now for a right-handed player, as I am, you can see here I'm trying to bridge up and seeing if I can get low enough on the ball and I can't because I can't reach it. I can't get close enough with my hand to elevate the cue high enough to hit low on the cue ball. So then I'm looking at other options. I can hit the cue ball lower down if I hit over to the left hand side of the cue ball. But that makes aiming quite difficult because I'm hitting quite extreme left hand side there. And it's not really a spin that I want on the ball that's not really going to help me. So a little bit stuck here. So just taking a little bit of time to consider what the other options. Now, the only option I could find here which gave me a solution to this shot was to play the shot left handed. Now, obviously not everybody can do that and I'm not great with my left hand, but we're fairly close to the pocket. Um, and it just does give me the option by playing left-handed, I can bridge close to the yellow, get the cue ball, the cue right up high, which allows me to strike down onto the white, just giving me a tiny bit of screw back. That's all I need. I don't need tons of screw back, just a tiny little screw back, just to pull back a touch from the tangent line and leave us on the black. So just trying to get as sturdy a bridge as I can with my right hand and just a little jabby screw back shot and pull him back nicely for the black. And then for the final shot on the black, we've got a fairly easy pot to the corner. The tangent line brings us over in this direction, which is fairly safe as long as we don't hit the ball way too hard. So we're hitting just below centre, fairly gen gentle, make sure of the pot, make sure the white's not travelling too far, and pot the black safely into the corner. If you want to see more practice routines and pool tutorials, then please remember to subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video, then there are links in the description below.